Trump threatens 30-day reign of destruction on the way out of office. Joe Biden will be president in 30 days. Until then, the question is how much damage can be done by a vengeful, delusional soon-to-be ex-president swilling conspiracy theories, whose wild anti-democratic instincts are being encouraged by fringe political opportunists. Donald Trump will retain the awesome powers of the presidency until noon on January 20, and there's never been a time when he has been subject to as few restraining influences or has had a bigger incentive to cause disruption. The president is spending day after day in his White House bunker, entertaining crackpot theories about imposing martial law, seizing voting machines, and staging an intervention in Congress on January 6 to steal the election from Biden. Surrounded by the last dead-end loyalists, Trump is flinging lies and political venom like King Lear in a crumbling Twitter kingdom, alarming some staffers about what he will do next. On Monday, he huddled with a cabal of Republican lawmakers who planned to challenge the election on baseless claims of fraud at a special session of Congress to ratify the results on January 6. Two ways Trump can hurt America. Trump can further damage the United States in the coming days in two ways, by aggressive design and by his passive neglect of his sworn obligations to lead. His attempts to crush American democratic traditions by claiming a landslide victory in an election that he lost and that was not especially close fits into the first category. The president's behavior has sown huge mistrust of the fundamental underpinning of the U.S. political system, fair elections, among millions of his voters, and threatens to compromise the legitimacy of Biden's White House. CNN's Barbara Starr reported Tuesday that there is concern among executive office staff and the military's leadership that Trump could use his power as president and commander-in-chief in dangerous ways in the last days of his term. We don't know what he might do, one officer in the Pentagon said. Another added. We are in strange times. Trump's indifference to multiple crises stirred by his rule make up the second category of his political vandalism. This includes his apathy about a raging pandemic that has infected 18 million Americans and killed nearly 320,000, as an aching nation marks its darkest holiday season in generations. There is no substitute in the U.S. governing system for the engagement of a president during a massive national enterprise. But there is also no sign that Trump cares to offer leadership to ensure the success of the mammoth vaccination program that holds hope of eventually ending the pandemic. This after his denial of the virulence of COVID-19 undoubtedly worsened the death toll. Trump is also running interference for Russia, prioritizing the interests of an adversary over America's after a massive cyberattack blamed on the Kremlin. These infractions add up to the dereliction of presidential duty on a grand scale. It is impossible to imagine any other president of the modern era behaving in such a way or for either of the political parties to tolerate his abuse of power. Former President George W. Bush's neglect during Hurricane Katrina in 2005 seems tame by comparison. The current president's anti-democratic behavior since the election is validating the fears of critics and more than 80 million Biden voters who worried about his unchained behavior in a second term. Like many fading strongman leaders, his antics are becoming more unhinged as the prospect of losing power becomes tangible.